Hello beauties. So by the time you see this video, I will have finally gotten a video from when I was in Seattle out to you guys, but I don't want to lose the momentum. So I thought I would do a little like makeup haul because I bought so much makeup slash I'm going to try some of the things on that are new. I think most of what I'm going to try is new. I have gone on a shopping ramp like I definitely went overboard but as most of you know I my wedding is in just a couple weeks and so for the last I can't tell you since the last time I talked to you guys I have been just everything I see I'm like ooh, that would be perfect for my wedding makeup and so now I have all of this makeup that I can never put on my face all at once but I thought I would you know try some of the products I'm the most excited to try out I'm definitely gonna have to try a few things before I decide what I'm gonna wear but I would thought start by sharing I thought I would start by sharing with you guys some of my my shopping adventures for makeup I'm not gonna need to buy anything for like two years I'll start with the thing I'm probably the most excited about and, and now I'm thinking, I don't even know if I want to take it with me. We're getting married in Greece. Oh, my little, pardon my little eye patch is sliding down my cheek. These are image eye patches, by the way. They're my favorite. I will be sure to link them below. I usually keep them on my eye until they're like, like dry and crinkly. But I like these because they're really, really hydrated. And that's why they slide down my eye. Also, I like to layer under eye cream under them. So I just feel like it does that much more. I got a Pat McGrath. It's my very first Pat McGrath. I just always, I've always admired her eyeshadow palettes, but have never wanted to take the plunge because they definitely are pricey. So I, I just never could bring myself to but now it's like for my, I've used it's my wedding as an excuse to way over buy makeup but I got this palette I haven't even swatched it yet but I am so excited the 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 color shift on some of these colors are so pretty and I feel like it was the only palette where I think I could honestly wear every single one of these colors. And so I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. So I want to take it with me, but it's kind of heavy. And so just having to take the dress and stuff already. And we're going to go straight into our honeymoon. So I don't want to have like so many suitcases. So I'm just struggling. I want to take everything with me and be prepared. But I also don't want to travel so heavy. So... We'll see. Not that like, you know, one eyeshadow palette is going to make a huge difference, but it will if I want to take this and like everything else. So we'll see in the end. The other thing that I, okay, so I have a story behind this. I worked with Jane Iredell for years, like probably for like eight years. I worked with their line at a salon I worked at and I loved it. I, it's what I have in my in my bridal kit when I go and do somebody's makeup and I like that it's like a skin care and a makeup form. I really think that people are sleeping on it. I don't hear anybody talking about it. I love Jane Iredell. She had her very first foundation as far as I know um, was in a hydrating serum and then it had little beads of makeup like color and as you pump it there was a mesh in there and it would it would mix as you're pumping it and a lot of people didn't like it because you kind of had to work it into your skin I know people just like quick and easy you know so I know it wasn't everyone's favorite but I just loved how it would almost like feel like it firmed my skin and then on top of that it would give you it was a lighter coverage but it would give you just enough like it would even out your skin tone so I love that one but so anyways, that being said, I haven't used it for a while because I've been exploring like other makeup and stuff. I recently was walking by 
the Chanel and I love going into stores even if I'm not gonna purchase anything and just see what's in new and I saw I this is not new so probably some of you guys might already know about this but I found their it's called Le Beige yeah that's all it says on the box Le Beige or I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but it looks almost identical to the bottles that I was talking about. So I got curious and I tried it on and of course it's like Chanel so it's another spendy product but everything like all the problems that people had with the Jane Iredell foundation this doesn't have. Like I tried it and it's like, it just feels like a serum, but it's the same idea. It has like these little in it. So anyways, I had to do it. I had to try it out. I haven't put it, I haven't tried it on my skin yet. I just had done it on the back of my hand to like find my like proper color match. I typically like to do from neck to face to find my proper color. But yeah, that's all I did. I put on the back of my hand and like just did stripes to find my color, but I haven't tried it all over. And even though I don't think I'm going to use this for my wedding, because it's definitely more of like a tinted situation, I do want to take it on my trip. First of all, it's small, so like it's going to travel nice. And also, I, I, I'm not going to want to use full coverage every day. Like obviously there's going to be the occasions like my wedding and stuff that I'm going to want that full coverage. But um, yeah, I'm just really excited to try this out and I hope that it works out well so I could just take this and like my full coverage and be good. And I'll try it out for you guys for those that don't want to spend, which I fully understand. I, you know, this is a product that I don't know if I'll get it again afterward just because I feel like it for as small as it is it was a pricey product but who knows like hopefully I don't fall in love with it because then it's just going to be another expense okay so there's that also I've been looking for a mascara my eyes are really sensitive with mascara so I definitely want to try this out before before the wedding but I got a waterproof um, it's called the Double Wear by Estee Lauder. I usually don't do well with Estee Lauder like skincare or like makeup, but never tried their mascara. And I don't know, this one, like I was just reading on all the different mascaras and I, this one just sounded good to me. So it has the type of brush that I like and I thought it was worth a shot because I just, I never wear waterproof and I know, like, I just know I'm going to be a puddle and I'm going to cry. So I don't want my makeup to be all ruined. So I got that. I got some new, I don't even remember what colors I got. I love Rare Beauty. I feel like they could do no wrong. Every single product I try were Rare Beauty, I love. Um, so I got some new lip pencils just because... I feel like I needed some new colors. So this one is, sorry, the trash guy at this moment decides to come by and it's like right outside my window. So I got the color Wise and Gifted. So this one is Gifted, it's a little bit darker. I just realized I left some of the things I got in the other room, so I'm gonna have to excuse myself in a little bit and go grab that. But, okay, so I also got the uh, Westman Atelier, I think this is the bronzer. I'm telling you, I feel like I made such a rookie mistake and just kept ordering products without really taking inventory of what I already have. Don't recommend, but at least you guys can without going out and buying them, see what I think about them. So, I mean, I'm such a sucker for packaging. I know it really doesn't matter, but I just, I'm thinking like even for my photos of getting ready, like it'll be pretty to have these pretty products on the table. So I got this, it has little hearts. 
like, and it comes with a little bag to put it in. I don't know. I just love this type of things. It just makes me feel good. Yes, so please don't judge me. Okay, and then I think I've already shared with you guys, I absolutely love the Givenchy Prism Libre, like their, their loose powder. I haven't found any powder better than this, honestly. Like I am 47 years old and obviously, I mean right now I have these patches, which is why I work so hard on that. You know, I have lines and when I put powders, typically they, they get in all of the wrong places and yet I'm oily. So I like to set my makeup, love, love this powder. And I have the bigger size, but I got a travel size of, it's a different color because they didn't have the color that I got last time. These are like a lot of the pink colors, but it's so cute and it's gonna travel a lot easier so I picked that up I'm so glad they're making smaller sizes because the other one I wish they had that size when I bought mine because it is lasting me forever like sorry my full size is lasting me forever like I have a feeling that it's probably gonna go bad before I could finish it so I think this is actually gonna be perfect for me just because I don't put it all over my face I usually just put it in my t-zone to set my makeup also I think it does help with like any running of mascara or eyeliner just to to set that so that's what I use it for this one like I don't know I totally I probably shouldn't have bought this one I have so many blushes but I think I just got excited that Dior came out with new colors. I, the other, I have the pink one, the original one that they had come out with, and I wasn't crazy about it. I think I tried it in my very first um, bridal, like I think the only uh, bridal, bridal trial makeup that I did. And I definitely had to layer it with something else. Maybe it's my skin tone's too dark for it. I just got excited that they came out with another color. Definitely could find this color probably less expensive. I just got excited and got it, so. And I think again, I just thought it would be pretty like getting ready and having the pretty makeup out. I'm just a sucker for it. I'm, I grew up with a mom that always had all the makeup, all the nail polishes, all the skincare, all the jewelry, and I don't know, I just, I think I inherited that from her. So we blame our parents for everything, right? So <laughs> why not that? And I got, um, uh, I forgot that I had gotten the Westman Atelier one, and this one's a travel. I got the, um, I think it's called Laguna bronzer it's the powdered bronzer i have the cream bronzer and i only use it the one time i did it in the video with you guys and then it stayed in this room and i typically get ready in my bathroom and i forgot i had it till i came in here today so now i have the powder and the cream of this i just need to go back to the room and grab a couple more things last thing i have in here I had gotten this thinking I could travel for a whole month with just this eyeshadow palette. I was, I'm getting ambitious with trying to travel more minimally, but I'm just not a minimalist, but I'm trying to be, I'm trying, I'm trying to not be also like a hoarder. So <laughs> baby steps. I truly love this. It's another Pat McGrath and it's just this itty bitty and I do think it's perfect. I think typically like for like weekends away and stuff, this is going to be like I could definitely live with these colors only and they're perfect. Like I it really has everything that I need. But I don't know. I just really wanted that big one. So initially this is what I was going to just travel with this, use it for everything. And I'm excited that I got it because it truly is beautiful. But yeah, I don't know. I just really like that big one too. So hold on just a sec. This is turning into a bit of a video of what not to do when you're getting ready for your wedding. I just realized that I got another even smaller bronzer of the NAR. So now I have the cream. Uh, this size bronzer I don't even know if this is regular I think this is also like a mini and then there's like this mini mini I it might this might have just been like a tester but I had it in this bag of something that I wanted to take and I love cute <clears throat> sorry 
I love cute little things. Am I the only one? I don't, I can't be the only one that like finds miniatures of everything just adorable. Like if I can make a Christmas tree of just all like miniature <laughs> makeup and hair care products, I would. Um, so yeah. Oh, this is a lighter color. At least it's a different color. This one's a little bit lighter than the other one. But yeah. I don't recommend doing this. Like take inventory of what you've already purchased. I've just been running around. I don't know how vloggers take videos of such detail of everything. I've been planning my wedding for two years and still I feel now I don't have a wedding planner and I think that's a big part of it. I'm doing everything myself. I love doing things like that. Love planning events and stuff, but I just feel like like even today I have to run a bunch of errands and I was like no before I do my makeup I'm gonna that way I could share it with you guys I'm gonna get a video out to you guys I feel so disconnected and I just miss I miss you guys I miss doing these videos so here we go I also this is something I've tried so I just wanted fresh ones of these I got the brown and black uh Dior waterproof eyeliner my favorite one is still the Rare Beauty one. However, this one's waterproof. So, and I do like it. I, I I have them already and I just didn't want them to dry out on my trip. And so I wanted to get fresh ones of those. It's here, I'll show you guys. It I just like the marker style style eyeliners. I find it the easiest for me. And that has a really nice like thin tip so that it makes it easier to to manage for me at least i know everyone's kind of has their different ways of doing things but that's fine and then this is the last thing as far as makeup goes i got the westman atelier cream blush this one is in in the color petal and i'm really excited about this one I am definitely going to use a powder blush, but I thought this would be pretty to layer. It seems like such a pretty color. And again, with like the packaging, I feel like this is such a, I think this is a mini, but it's like, you know, it's plenty. Plus this is another pricey brand. So yeah, that's it as far as makeup goes. Also for the day of the wedding, I'm going to be taking these image eye patches. They're my favorite. I feel like they work so, so well. I haven't tried this before, but it just had a lot of great reviews on it. I love doing sheet masks and I didn't want to take a bunch of masking things. I am going to get a facial when I'm in Greece a couple days before the wedding. And so for the day of, I got these sheet masks. It's JLo. I haven't tried any of her beauty line, but... I like that it had the, the chin strap one and the other one and then plus these eye patches I think I'll be good just so that my face is extra glowy and hydrated. I also needed a new curling iron. The one that was the perfect size for me broke. I had it forever. It, was, it wasn't a fancy one by any means but uh, tea tree was having a sale a couple months ago and I I saw this on there and it was the right size haven't tried it yet I wanted to try it with you guys today but my hair is still wet from my shower so I'm not going to be able to and it, it is way too hot to blow dry my hair right now but I'm doing my own hair <clears throat> man my voice keeps cutting out sorry um I'm gonna do my own hair and makeup for the wedding just because I was looking through some hairstylists like Instagram while uh, that that are on the island that we're going to, but the one that I had found that had similar styles as to what I wanna do on my hair, she needed like, they only do parties, like not just the bride. And honestly, I know how to do my hair the way I want it done. I, it was more just to be pampered the day of. So I'm gonna do my own hair and makeup. So I definitely needed to get the tools that I needed for that. So hopefully this works out. It looks like the perfect barrel. And yeah, I, I think I, I definitely need to practice beforehand because I think I'm just feeling confident and who knows what's gonna happen the day of. You know, your hair always, I feel like depending on the weather and whatnot, it changes, but 
the the island that we were at we went to last year around this time of year and the weather's actually very similar to san diego so i think my hair you know my hair did fine then so i'm not super worried about it and yeah that is the haul part of this video that's everything that i've bought so far it is not necessary so but you guys get to see to try some of these things out oh wait one last thing that I got that I want to share with you guys. I always use, I'm allergic to, I think, aluminum. I'm not even sure what in regular deodorants I'm allergic to. I think it's the aluminum, but I started getting like a rash under my arm a few years back. And so I started this like journey of looking for deodorants that I'm not sensitive to. And I found each and every, and I've been using that this whole time and it's been working great but recently i saw a commercial i saw a commercial of this brand salt and stone and i mean they just got me because the commercial was like it just it was very aesthetically pleasing it was all the colors that i like and i saw that they had a santal scented deodorant and i have the perfume and i love it and so i thought i would give it a try so i ordered like they have a like three travel size sets. And so I got two different scents. This is the Santal one. It smells so nice and I feel like it's gonna travel well. I tried it out and it works great on me. Didn't have a reaction. And then I got the Black Rose Duo and it smells so nice. It doesn't have that rose like perfumey, like powdery scent. It's like, it's just a really, it's almost like woody, like it's, it smells really nice. So these are the two that I got and well, I got two of these and I wanted to try this one, but I'm going to be traveling with those two and I feel like it's perfect because they're, they're small. So I could even have one in my travel bag so that when I'm traveling, if I need a refresh in, I can because it's a long flight. So that's everything. And since I have some errands I need to get to, let's get started on the things that I wanted to try. So let's start with the, is it called La Beige? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but let's start with that. I'm excited. Also, it comes with a little brush. I never really use their travel brushes. I always feel like they're just not not it i like i wish they would give me a little bit more even if it's a tiny bit more product than like these things i just feel like it's it's an old school thing to include a brush like who uses the eyeshadow brushes or things like that i suppose that when you're traveling like on an airplane or something or yeah like an airport like maybe it would come in handy but it's not ideal so um, they, I always feel like I, it's almost like using a Q-tip, like it just, I don't know. Anyways, that's just what I think. Let me know if any of you guys actually enjoy that. And I think this is really serum -y, so I think I'm just going to apply it with my fingers. I usually don't. I'm definitely more of a brush girl. I like, I like applying my products. I never really got too much into, I think I have one beauty blender. It, it was never, I know that for a time there, that's what every YouTuber was using. And I just, I don't know. I love brushes kind of like this one for foundation and this one, but this one felt, this felt so much like a serum that I feel like I want to try it with my fingers. I think I'm going to take this off now. I usually, honestly, like I leave these on until like, they look pruney so that's probably the quickest but look at how great like i mean you guys didn't see the before but i honestly like it they work so well okay let's try see it comes out really runny and serum -y, and you don't have to work it together oh man i think i put too much i literally pumped just like it wasn't pumping and so I probably got two pumps and that was probably way too much.
It feels so nice though. I like that feels, man, it made my face pale. I've been, I've been, um, laying out and going swimming a lot, getting my skin ready, getting like a layer of like, you know, bronze under my skin so that when I'm in Greece, I don't burn before the wedding. So I think I'm a shade darker than when I bought this. But I think it'll be okay once I put the bronzer and everything on. I love the way this feels already. Like it really feels like I'm putting skincare on. Like it just feels really nice and ceramic and I could I could totally see myself like on beach days and stuff, obviously putting less of this on. I think, you know, it won't make me look so pale, but I could see myself just using this with sunscreen underneath and calling it a day. It's really, really nice. Yeah. And if you guys don't want to pay the price, you know, and you don't mind like working it in a little bit, the Jane Iredell one is a really great, I would say dupe, but that came out before this. So it's just a good similar product. I definitely think this one is better though. I will say, even though I'm a fan of the other one, this feels so nice and so luxe and is the same. I could tell it's the same idea, but what do you guys think? Okay, sorry, I had to go wash my hands because I got that, I used way too much. So I will say a little bit goes a long way. Definitely one pump is pro was probably more than enough because that <laughs> that was my, my bad. But look at how nice my skin looks now that I've like worked it in. I really like that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not me getting hooked on a Chanel product. And then I'm gonna use, this I have used with you guys before, but I thought, I wanted to use the cream blush that I started or that I got and I want to see what it what it looks like with also the cream bronzer. Yeah, I like applying these products with the like this one's like a really dense brush. This one's from Tarte. Yeah, that's from Tarte. But like any really dense brush. I feel like you have a little bit more control over where it's going. And like the day of the wedding, I'll definitely like, you know, do all of the the contouring, but for just running around and for just trying out these products, that's good enough. The Westman Atelier Cream. It looks like such a pretty color. I just like like pretty pink, like I, don't, I have this idea of what I want my makeup to look like the day of my wedding and I really like these colors for it and I think it'll layer good with some of the blushes that I got. I just went right into my cheek. I probably should have put it on the back of my hand first depending because I don't know how pigmented it is but I just went for it. Ooh, that's pretty. See, I, that, I feel like this gave me more pigment than the Dior pink. I don't remember what color it is. The Dior Backstage, here, let me pull it. I had put it back in the box, I don't know why. Does anybody else do that? It's like I want things to stay new longer. <laughs> so I'll like throw it back in the box. Um, it's not, it's like not even conscious. Okay, so this color. I had gotten this and I felt like the color payoff, and I do think, you know, I just tried it that one time and maybe like it just needs to, I need to like, you know, work my brush into it a little bit more, but I felt like I didn't really get much color payoff, especially for the price that these are. I'm hoping that the other one is better. I'll try the other one today, the other color. I'm glad they came out with more colors. That is really pretty. I'm sweating in this room, <laughs> it's warm. Uh, I already feel like I need, well, I haven't put my powder on yet, so. 
What do you guys think of that color? That's really pretty. And I always like doing to my eyelids whatever I do to my cheeks. It just gives me the, a good base. Um, and then usually if I'm like not doing any, I'm just like running around and I don't want to really do makeup, but I don't want to not wear anything. Well, these days I've been running around with just skincare on my face, just getting my skin ready. But, oh wow. I have an eyeliner in here that I haven't even opened and I was about to buy another black pencil. So I'm so glad that I saw this. See, don't do this guys. Like keep track of what you've gotten. I feel like I just, yeah, I've gone crazy, but you guys get the benefit of it. Okay, now I'm gonna start with the powdered products. And I, I think for the day of my wedding, I am gonna take my, this is so embarrassing, it's so dirty. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury, what is it called? The Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I love that one. And then I'll probably use like this one and then on my T-Zone, <laughs> why can't I English? On my T-Zone, I'll use the Givenchy Powder. But that's in my bathroom, so we'll just use this today. And I am aware that there's a lot of makeup artists that do their makeup in a different order than I do. This is just the way that it works for me. There, I don't feel like there's a wrong way. I see the idea of doing your eyeshadow first because if you get any fallout, you clean it up. I get it. I don't like to do it that way. I like to do from biggest to smallest space. It just works for me. And if that makes sense for you guys, then you guys can follow along the way I do it but you can always do these things in different orders and whatever works for you I see I put the, everything that I showed you guys I put it back in its box and now I'm having to take it all out okay this is the Westman Atelier I'm really excited to try this I have to figure out what brushes I'm going to take with me too this one's really big I probably won't take this one. Oh wow it has a lot of pigment right off the bat I think I got like it's pulling a little gray let me see if working it in a little bit do you see that it's a little bit muddy I don't know if it's because I'm kind of sweaty and like or I I'm like really dewy that it's a little bit patchy but to spend that much money on a bronzer, I'm a little bit, right out of the gates, I'm a little bit disappointed in it. I feel like a lot of you guys that have been here before, I really like using powdered foundations as a bronzer. And I definitely feel like I get a nicer look out of that. So this is a like, don't recommend, unfortunately. It's a little bit gray and it's going on, like I'm definitely, I definitely can make it work, but if you're paying that much for a product, I feel like it should be the, the best. And to have other products that I use work better. I, I've never paid this much for a bronzer and I feel like even the NARS one works better. So I'm really disappointed in that. Don't recommend. I do love their cream blush though. That one went on so nice. I'm surprised how pigmented it was for a cr cream blush. And yeah, like after working it in, it's okay, but I just don't feel like I should have to work that hard when it's like, yeah, that pricey. Let's try the Dior, the new color. I got all bummed. <laughs> But no, seriously, like it, it's a pricey product. And so I feel like, yeah, I some of the, the more expensive products, I feel like you're just buying the name and then it's like not worth it when you could find something so much less expensive. Like actually my favorite bronzer that I use, is it in here, is the Charlotte Tilbury. Like this one works so much better than that. And look how much product it gives you. 
and it's less expensive. So if you're gonna splurge, I would say go this way. Otherwise, uh, going back to Jane Iredell, I like using their powdered foundations as um, contour. And I might just do that because it's smaller than, like that's why I got this one, just because I was like, well, it's small, so it's gonna travel better than the Charlotte Tilbury one, but yeah. I'm not gonna wear this on my wedding. I like, I don't want to work. I want everything to go on really nicely. So let's try the Dior. This is the Rosewood. Yes, this is the Rosewood color. I'm gonna work it into my brush a little bit better and hope that the payoff is better. Yeah, that is pretty. That's pretty. And I feel like it, it's layering really nicely over the Westman Atelier petal cream blush. That's pretty. We could be happy again. I haven't bought any new highlighters, but I loved the Becca highlighters. And so when they were going, when they were going to be no more, I stocked up on the highlighter that I like, so I'm gonna be just taking that. So that's the one thing I didn't buy new. <laughs> I like that. All right, so now let's get into the eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited for this. I feel like all my favorite brushes are in my bathroom. I didn't plan this well man I've I just have looked at this and look how many finger marks there are on the back of this it's so sad <laughs> I love how things look when they're like brand new and then finger marks man what I want to start with I am gonna start with this like dark mauvey color I will say like Pat McGrath's products are pricey, but everything I've ever tried of hers has been like beautiful. Actually, I was looking at one of her bronzers and now I kind of wish I would have tried hers instead. And I'm gonna go with the lighter mauve color. This is really pretty. Like it goes on, I don't know how she does it, but her products go on airbrushed. And like I said, I'm not, I, like I couldn't find any of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. So I'm not even using the ideal brush for what I'm doing. Just a light amount because I'm going to go over it with one of their metallic y shifty colors. And under my eyelids, I'm going to, or under my eyebrows, th this is beautiful. <laughs> and just putting this on makes me so happy. Look how pretty that is. I feel like I need to brush my wonky eyebrows. Do I have? Here's one. I've been growing my eyebrows out because I want to trim them and shape them right before I leave so that they stay good so they are wonky and long. And like the day of the wedding, I'll probably gel my eyebrows. I have very dense eyebrows, like <laughs> Frida over here. Yeah, like I. Right now I'm waiting until like the week or a few days before we leave to wax my arms, to shape my brows. So I am, I am hairy these days. Okay, now I'm gonna, this is probably the color I am the most excited about. I It's the color that attracted me to this palette to begin with. There's certain light 
that catches it where it looks like pink, peach, and then it like has a green shift to it. I don't know. I really want to try it. I don't know that I'm going to wear it the day of the wedding. If it works, I might, but oh, it's so pretty. I already, I'm already obsessed. I just think it's going to be so pretty. We're getting married at sunset, so the lighting I think is going to be perfect for this. That's so pretty. What do you guys think? I'm definitely going to do something like this, like a little bit more soft the day of the wedding and then I'll have my winged eyeliner. I'm going to do some eyelashes for sure. I was going to get lash extensions, but we're going to be gone for almost a month and I don't want to, like we're going to be doing a lot of activities and stuff and I don't want to be worried about them falling out and just looking wonky. So instead what I'm doing is I'm getting a lash lift, which I've done before and I absolutely love. And then the day of the wedding, I'm just gonna put some uh, like lash strips or maybe individuals, I'm not sure yet. I'll decide that day to give it a little bit more, but it'll be something similar to this. And I'm gonna set this with, actually, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last Charlotte, or in the last video I did, I had a Charlotte Tilbury setting spray that the pump, it was brand new, it was full and the pump never worked. So I put it in one of my old Jane Iredell bottles. So I love the way that smells. It's it's not what, what this bottle says it is. It's the Charlotte Tilbury. I think, I can't remember. I'm not even gonna try. It might be a flawless. I think it is, it has the word flawless in it, but that's what it is. Okay, and then I'm gonna curl my lashes really quick. I've done a tutorial on how I curl my lashes on TikTok. If you guys want to go on there, it's the same, Erica's Beauty World. It's an old hack that my grandma taught me when I was a kid to curl my eyelashes using a spoon. And if you guys are interested in it, I it's it's gotten kind of buried with other videos, but it's in there if you guys want to check it out. Yeah, it just works great. It gives me control. My lashes don't break. It curls them. I don't like them shaped like an L and I feel like lash curlers make them like go straight out and then straight up and I just don't like that. So the way I curl my lashes is using a spoon. I don't know. I think I've shared it on here before as well, but just in case or for those of you that are new, that's my little life hack. Let's try this mascara. I do like that. I always like mascara more as I've worn it a few times. So that's why I'm starting to use it now. And that way in a couple weeks, it'll be perfect. I like it. Now we'll see if it withstands the smudge test. Especially with as serum -y as that Chanel tint was. We'll see. And I did put it under my eyes. I'm not wearing any concealer right now. We'll see. But yeah, I like that. And then since I'm gonna be wearing lash strips or individuals, I feel like that'll that'll it'll do for the day of. And then for my lips. I want to hear what you guys have to say and I think I'll get this video out to you guys in time. So I've been using the Makeup Forever Artist color pencil in the color. It's a taupey color. What color is it called? I don't know if my eyeballs are going to be able to see the color, but it's a taupey color. I've been using this on my lips and I don't know, there's something about it. I used to have a color like this when I was in high school years and years ago. And that's what made me buy it. But now I've been using it with like every color and I just like, it almost contours my lips. There's something about this color. So it's definitely, I, I got a pimple right here. So now if my lips look lopsided, it's, they're not. I just have a, a like a little scar right here that's really messing 
with me the day of I'll definitely conceal it and so my lips don't look crooked but I really like this color I've been using this with just even lip gloss and it looks so good like it kind of disappears I don't know if it's just with my lip color because it definitely has a lot of gray in it but for some reason I just really like it and then I have this tester. It's a YSL lip. It's kind of like a matte mousse situation. I don't even know the color because I don't have the box anymore. But I had gotten this a while back and I tried the combo of these two the other day. And I thought that's actually going to be perfect, I think, for the wedding. And then with like a lip gloss on top, which I didn't bring a lip gloss in here. So it's okay. But I've been... It's kind of that... It's, it's reminding me of like that berry lip or berry, I don't even know if that's what, I think I'm butchering it, but. So it just, it makes it like, I feel like it gives me enough color that it's gonna photograph well, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing this, you know, specific color on my lips, which I really like. I'm gonna just put, I just realized I had this in here. So I'm just gonna put the Tarte um, Lip Plump over it a little bit. This is in the color. Oh, I definitely can't see that. It's like peachy beige, I think, if I remember correctly. Something like that. Yeah. What do you guys think? Obviously, this isn't like the bridal look, but I thought I would try some of these products with you. Some of them I will be using on my wedding day, and, you know, some of them I will just be taking on my trip, but... I mean, I am really impressed with that Chanel tint because considering I didn't do any concealer, like I haven't put anything else and you guys saw I had been picking at my face earlier. So you saw the amount of redness and like spots that I have. I feel like it did a really good job of just blending my skin. The day of, I'll definitely wear a full coverage foundation, but for like the trip for running around and stuff, I feel like... I'm gonna get a lot of use, so I'm definitely gonna take this on the trip with me. I ha I have the Dior um, Illuminating Foundation, Forever Foundation. That's probably the one I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. I absolutely love that one. My second favorite has been the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Love that. And I was gonna take those two, but I might replace the Charlotte Tilbury one with this Chanel, because it's, I mean, that one isn't that big either, but you know, that way I'm not taking three foundations. So yeah, this is it. What do you guys think? Thank you for spending the time with me. If you've watched all of it, I appreciate you. I wish I could curl my hair with you guys, but it's still wet and I really need, what time is it? Yeah, I really need to get going before things start to close. It's already 345, so yeah thanks for spending this time with me i will be sure so by the time you see this it'll probably be right after you see my vid my seattle trip i went a month ago and it's just taking i as i edited it i realized i never ended the video so i'm gonna do an ending right now which you will have already seen and then i will edit this and get it out to you hopefully before my trip Thank you so much. I love you guys all so, so much. And if you have any questions, if you have any requests, if you haven't, I love hearing from you guys. So please, no matter what, just, you know, let me know what you're thinking and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.